pages, chapters of my life. So, so Smoke, one of the brothers, um, he went to third in command. Before I got there, Smoke had, um, Smoke had sat some brothers up. And these brothers had went to prison. Now these brothers was called on the streets neutrons. Neutrons are people who not affiliated with no type of uh, gang activity at all. You know, they neutral. They not folks, they not vice lords. They not crips or bloods, they just neutral. They could be cool with either side because they don't belong to no side. Um, so these two guys, Hook and Greg, Smoke sat up before I got there. Before I came to live down there, Smoke had set them up. They were neutron. Smoke ended up catching the case or something, how it went. I don't really know the full details. I just know he he, he did something. He sent them up. Instead of telling it and, and snitching on a mob, he used this is how the mob work and why it and why you would never really have snitching. Snitching will never go nowhere. Because when you affiliated with the mob, if you get knocked off by them people, if you have a chance to get your time cut. You supposed to sacrifice a neutron or, or opposition so that you could be positioned back in your mob. Because that's what they ask you. You know what I'm saying? And that's one of your entitlements when you're doing that stuff. Because you worth more to the mob than a neutron and an opposition. So you it's okay for you to set up other people who not a part of the mob. Now, Greg and Hook, from what I was told, was not a part of the mob. They were just regular dudes. So when Smoke called his case, Smoke gave them over to the authorities rather than giving up the mob so that he could still be out handling nation business for the mob. And, um, I got there later on, these dudes was already gone. When I got there, they was already in prison for a couple of years by now. Smoke and me became real cool because Smoke was doing a lot of the driving. Smoke was doing a lot of the driving, uh, picking up the dope and stuff. And by me being a dedicated dude on the work, I was running the houses. I was running the houses, and the, and the other dope was kept at our sister house. So I had access to all that, and it was better for me because I was real blood. So me and Smoke got cool. Me, Smoke, Smiller G, LG, Milo. We had started our little own team. We had got real cool. I was doing a lot of writing for the brother because I was trying to start my own group. So after I started ghost writing for these brothers, you know, we doing our, trying to do our thing. Me and Smoke ended up catching, catching cases like around about the same time. So we ended up going to penitentiary together. I was tried as an adult at the age of 17. I was the youngest dude in prison. Uh, 17 years old. And um, when we get to prison, we was in what's called RC. Not PC, but RC. It's called receiving. When you first get in, you gotta go through all these tests. Uh, make sure you ain't got no diseases and things when they put you in population making sure you don't have no enemies or however all this stuff this one I found out about Greg and Hook um, so we are receiving and I'm calling home talking to my brother tell my brother where I'm at he like oh, smoke down there too I say yeah smoke down here too he like you got to get to the board. 
I said, why I got to get to the board? He said, you got to get to the board and talk to them brothers, you know what I'm saying, and let them know that Smoke is a part of the mob. And Hook and Greg was not a part of the mob when Smoke set them up. I'm like, what you mean Smoke set them up? He like, if two brothers down there in that joint, man, they on, they on count now. On count mean you, you actually plugged in. You a part of the count. The count, the numbers of brothers that's actually in. He say, them brothers on count now. They actually got a lot of pull in the mob now. But they, when they was on the streets out here with us, they were just neutron. They wasn't a part of the mob because my brother called it for the mob. So, he, so they wasn't on his count. And if they wasn't on his count when he had the whole city, they was not a part of the mob. He said, you need to tell them that. Make sure they know that before they do something to smoke. Because them dudes going to try to make it seem like smoke set them up. But they was a part of the mob, which makes him in violation of the mob. I'm like, dang, man. Smoke set some dudes up. I don't even know how these dudes look, man. I don't even know... I don't even know who I'm going going to, going at. I say, but I'm in receiving. I say, but I'm in receiving, bro. We can't go nowhere. We locked in here for 30, uh, 30 days. So, um, smoke acting real nervous and stuff. He telling me, you talk to your brother? I say, yeah, I talk to him. He like, uh, he told you about my situation. I said, yeah. Who is Greg and Hook? He like, no, nah, man, they were just some some dudes, man, you know. I said, my brother say they got pulled down here. He like, yeah, man. I said, he was nervous and stuff. So we go to the child hall. So while we in chow hall in the line getting our potatoes and, you know, meat and gravy, stuff like that, this one dude on the line, you know, doing the scoops of food on the line, and he look over, and then I just heard a voice out of nowhere say, oh, no, they didn't. I know they didn't bring you down here. No, they didn't bring him down here. Oh, look at you now, nigga. Yeah, that's how they do you. See how they do you? People looking around like, we all looking around like, man, who, who they talking to? Nobody saying nothing, though. Smoke coming down the line. We by each other. I'm in front. He beside me, you know. So the dude who's saying, he, he like leaning over, but it's a glass and only a little... Like your tray right there is only a little thing where you can scoop the food. But it's a it's like a divider between us, but it's see-through glass. You can see, and you know, we like you could be eyes like this, but the thing that's in play, you know, like a buffet you go to, all oh, you can eat that thing, those. So we get in our tray, scoop of potatoes, go down to the meat, go down to the gravy, go down to the vegetables, you know. It's an officer on the end counting people off by the fours because each table sit four, two on each end. So he counting people off, one, two, three, four. But while me and Smoke coming down the line, dude just like, yeah, nigga, you know what's up, right? You know what's up. You know what's up. You know what I'm saying? You know what's up. You know, scooping the food and stuff like, you know what I'm saying? Slide down, I'm like, damn, that must be one of them dudes. And this dude was big and swole, too. Slide down, I'm going like, oh, smoke in trouble. I was like, they finna try to hit him in this child hall. Now I'm saying, because, you know, this is my first time in prison. I'm 17 years old and stuff, man. I never been here now. It's like all the things I seen on movies and things like this. I'm actually here living this stuff now. I just got here. I'm like, dang, this crazy. So I'm like, smoke sniffed on some brothers. They calling it. They got rank and pull. I ain't finna get caught up in this brother stuff, whatever he did before I got there and stuff. So smoke trying to stick close to me. The officer counting off. And I seen him count off three. 
to the other people getting up like one, two, three. So when he gets four, I jump off on the line like I'm the fourth dude. I jump off to be the fourth dude. He like, soon I jump off, Smoke try to jump off behind me. You know what I'm saying? I jump off and I'm the fourth person. He say, four, you sit right there. You talking to Smoke. Start the other table right there, one. So, so I sat at the table thing. Then Smoke sitting over there, Smoke sitting over there um, at the table by himself. And then the officer starting a new count on his table. The dude who said, yeah, you know what's up? You know what's up, don't you? He went into the back of the kitchen. When he went in the back of the kitchen, another dude came out almost twice the size as him. And he was big. This dude was like double big. He come out. With his little towel and stuff on, looking around, you know, I spotted out who smoke, you know. I'm like, man, which one of them Greg? Which one of them Hook? However, neither one of them was Greg or Hook. This was the person they sent out to do the hit on smoke light. Dude come around, then he come laying over the little rail and like this, was smoke on the other end and smoke eating. I couldn't hear what he was saying, but I see his head moving like, you know, yeah. Smoke acting like he ain't talking to him, just eating, not paying him, like he ain't talking to him, like he talking to somebody else. Next thing you know how to know where, the big dude just got the drop on. Boom, 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 boom. I'm talking about putting that on him, on him. You know what I'm saying? Man, hitting this brother with everything this brother got. Chunks of mashed potatoes and gravy all on him. He looked like he just got snacked out the garbage can. You know how, like, people dump food in the garbage can? Man, this brother, man, this brother clean, was cleaning him up. Then from the gun tower, because it's, it's actually a gun tower in a chow hall. Yeah, this stuff was real in Illinois. Graham Correctional Facility. Man, this, this, hey, the shotgun tower opened up. And when it, and, the, and the, it was a lady in there with Arnold Schwarzenegger glasses, no lie. They like get on the ground right now. That's that that that's a uh, protocol. You know what I'm saying? When the fight break out, you got to lay on the ground. Whoever's standing up can get shot. You know what I'm saying? Everybody on the ground hitting the deck. Why dude dude over there just waxing smoke? You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about man, man. Police came, broke up the situation. Pick smoke up, smoke sitting up there, sitting up there all like days knocked out, food falling from his face, mixed with the gravy and blood. I'm talking about knotted, knotted up. This brother, Star Trek, the next generation, alien knocked up, knotted up. I'm like, damn. People looking at me like, ain't that your man you been with? Ain't that the dude you been with? <laughs> Man, got that brother up out of there. So everybody had to clear the child hall and leave, go back to the unit. I go back to the unit. They draw, they uh, drag uh, Smoke and the other dude away. Go back to the unit. I go back to the unit. People ask me like, man, that's your man. That's your man, hey, man. What, what your man do? They violated him quick. He ain't even made it out of receiving yet. He ain't even made it out of... Now, receiving is like a place where... You like under heavy security, like protection type stuff. They like, they got him in a child hall, man. He must have really did something crazy, man. That's some street stuff, huh? I'm like, I don't know what it is, man. I go to the phone and call my brother. I'm like, hey. He like, yeah, what's up? I say, look, man, I wasn't even able to make it to the board, man. They got smoke. He like, they what? I say, they got him. They got him already, man. They hit him in the child hall, man. He like, man, crazy, man. You still got to go to the board. They ain't done. You got to let him know, man. You got to let him know he going to be out of there, man. I'm like, I can't go nowhere. I'm in receiving still. He like, damn, I wish I was there, man, such and such, man. He's like, man, I can't wait, man. When them dudes hit the street, man, I'm killing them dudes. You know what I'm saying? And he mean what he say. I'm like, 
I don't know, man. He said, which one was it? Did you see? I said, I don't know who the hell Greg is. I don't even know who Hook is. All I know, one dude came out. He said, like, oh, they sent you down here now. You see how they do? He went in the back, and another big dude came out. And he, he stayed in the back, but another big dude came out, bigger than him. You know what I'm saying? He's like, yeah, that's how they do, man. That's how they do. All right, man. He wasn't. He didn't like that because Smoke was his guy, and there wasn't nothing he can do. He couldn't put a call in or nothing. And he was mad because dudes, dudes and them was acting, the dudes in there who got pulled now was acting like they already had pulled before they got there. You know what I'm saying? Like they was already a part of the mob when they got there. But they ended up just joining when they first got there for protection. So I finally make it out of receiving my 30 days up. I'm cleared. I got to go to the office to get my key of what unit I'm going to be on. So I go get my key. And while I'm getting my key, I'm walking up the, the, the runway. And as I'm walking up the runway, I hear a dude call out to me. Hey, you. Hey, you. I'm looking like, who is that? He making his way to me. He like, ain't you T, brother? I'm like, hey, man, what this dude done done? They already just hit smoke in the, in the kitchen cafeteria. Now I'm just going to make it to population. And they asking me, my brother. I don't really know nobody. It's my first time in prison. I'm saying, you know what? If it's finna go down, it's just finna go down, man. I can't stop nothing. I say, yeah. Yeah, that's my brother. What's up? He like, I'm Hook. I'm saying to myself, like, oh, this one of the dudes. I'm like, oh, it's on now. I'm like, okay, what's up, fam? He like, no, T, your brother. Oh, that's my man. We cool, man. I'm freaks, you know what I'm saying? You smoke weed, you know? I'm like, no, I don't smoke weed. You don't smoke weed, cigarettes? Mm -hmm. Like, no, I don't do none of that. What unit you going to? Say, I'm on 14. Oh, I'm finna get you moved to my side where I'm at then. I'm like, no, uh-uh, I don't trust that. It just got smoke hit in the kitchen. But they, he meant it, though. He was genuine and sincere. Somehow he knew T was my brother. They, let me tell you something, Prince. They know who you is before you even get there. I didn't know who they were. They already knew who I was. He was like, um, they were really trying to embrace me, though, because they knew T was my brother, and they knew when they were getting out, they would have to see him. And what happened to Smoke? You know what I'm saying? What happened to Smoke? They, like, um, knew for the most part that it come with repercussions. You know what I'm saying? So I declined. I declined Hook for wanting me on the, over on his side. So he could try to put me up under his wing. I'm like, no, nah, I'm gonna stay where I'm at. Uh, he like, all right, I'm gonna come through there and I'm gonna holler at you, little G. You know, tell your brother I said, what's up, man? You know what I'm saying? So, so, so. Give me a number on the man so I can call him up. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, all right, bet, all right, bet. I go back to the unit, get my stuff situated. I call my brother. I say, bro. I just saw Hook. He like, yeah, what the fuck I say? I say, he tried to get me on his side where he was, man. You know what I'm saying? He like, no, you straight, bro. You going? I say, no, I ain't going. He like, you straight? He already know what's up. He say, they know what's up. I put the word in already. They know what's up. I was like, uh, I'm still ain't going over there, though. You know? pages, chapters of my life.